Hello friends, welcome back to this Smart Excel. This video is on breakthrough analysis, the third video. So please refer to my previous two videos. And I'm going to make this the third video on all the things which we covered in this video. So the first items are like these are uh, these are the things covered. We already have done several videos where we can add the breakdown point. You can see different sort of types I have done. So later I have mentioned this is three seventy five hundred and fifty thousand. So you can see the breakdown point. So this video I'm going to show you exactly how to pinpoint and do the stores. So first select the data, go to insert, go to this line, and here you can see type to increase the font size, go to quick layout, and you can see the grid lines. Now, first of all, remove the legends and bring it to the bottom. We want to remove the unwanted areas over here. So click on this and select horizontal value axis and this bar area axis option and make this into so this is around 1200. So make this around 800. You can see, and the major designs over here are 100, so make this into 50. Or we can see, we can make this to 25 also. You can see 375. And, and bonds, actually, if you want to increase the size, I'm going to just show you, it's not required. So you can see, it will increase each and every one if you want to make it to, or if you make it 10. It will increase. I don't want to do this to zero. And now I'm going to reduce the word vertical axis. Vertical axis is here. Select this. So the minimum over in the here is 100,000. So this is around 60,000, I believe. So the lowest is around 60,000. So so I'll be doing select this access option and make this into when the maximum is 44 so I'm going to make this into around 30 300 now you can see the area in the middle of and major, we can see this is 90, so I want to make 150,000. So I will be seeing that if I can do this to four, we will still you can't see on this, so we'll make it to three. Yeah, now you can see 150, and this is 375, 375. So this is the break even point. Now you have major and minor lines, either you can go from here. Or you can go from here, you can see how the things are changing here. You can select from there also. If you want, you can increase the visibility. And you can select from here also. Now, in the vertical, also, you can do the same thing. If you want, select go here, go to vertical major axis. And here, you can increase the visibility and you can increase the skin the color also so this is too much I'm going to reduce this to one yeah now you can see this is the break one point over here so here, this is the breaking point. And we can see now, I'm going to add the breaking point. Select the data from here, or you can select from here also. Now add, make, make this as big, even point. Okay, selecting this. Let's just bring this down first. Select data, add, 
Now you can see the rate one point is ready. Now, if you want to do some changes, you can do also that. You can select this is the area of loss. So you can go and change uh, on side or this is the area of loss. Make this to three and change the color to red. In the dash space, so this is a loss area. So, now this is a break even. We can check here again, same thing. So, let this make this into three. And you can change the color also. You can make this four also. And this also. Even this is selected. And you can go and just check on the ten lines, ten line one, two, and all. So if you select this four. So you can see this is the area of loss, and this is the breaking, and this is the area of profit. If you want, you can select a different color. Now this is a fixed cost. So this is sixty thousand. So select this. This is a fixed cost. In addition to five. This is a fixed cost. So this is how you make a break-even chart. And uh, now, if you want, you can test this. So like this, and try to change here. I'm going to close this first. Change this to 400. So you can see it is increasing. If you move this to 700. 700. Sorry. In this is 700. You can see this. So it's interconnected. So this is the way you have a break-in point. I have showed all the topics and all the bonds and points and all. So hope you find this video useful. Thanks for watching. Let's meet in the next video.